The more you learn about Donna Douglas, the harder it is to avoid the conclusion that she was done dirty by the industry. If she had been born in a different time period though, would she have had a completely different career? How big of a star would she be? What movies and TV shows would she have starred in? And how differently would her life have turned out? In this video, we explore all those possibilities and more. The real Donna Douglas was born in 1932, which makes her a member of the silent generation. Since a generation lasts between 20 to 25 years, Donna's new speculative birth date would make her a millennial born in the early 80s. As a millennial, Donna Douglas would have had to navigate through a whole different industry and media landscape. But would her career then be better or worse if that's the case? How would she have broken into the industry? Well, the real Donna had quite a straightforward path into Hollywood. As a stereotypical American sweetheart, she first got herself out there by winning both the Miss Baton Rouge and the Miss Louisiana beauty pageants. After that, it was quite easy for her to land a job as a model. For a Donna Douglas born two generations later, the path may be the same, but the specifics may be different. Sure, beauty pageants still exist, but they are not given the same weight today as they were in the past. A millennial born Donna would perhaps have to supplement her winnings with an amateur model portfolio. Just having a pretty face would be far from enough. She would have had to prove that she had the attitude and verve to succeed as a model. She would have really had to self-advocate to prove she deserved a shot in the modeling industry. Once the real Donna Douglas became a model, she made her first couple of screen appearances on late night variety shows such as The Perry Como Show, The Steve Allen Show, and The Ed Sullivan Show. Those shows were always on the lookout for pretty faces who could maintain or boost their viewership. These days though, late night variety shows are hard to come by. One notable exception to this is Saturday Night Live. Does this mean that a millennial born Donna Douglas would have made her TV breakthrough on SNL? Well, there are good arguments as to why and good arguments as to why not. On the other hand, SNL is more competitive today than it's ever been, and it's hard to see a newcomer getting on there just because she has a pretty face. Honestly speaking, Millennial Donna would likely go straight from being a model to being an actress. But what would her first couple of roles have looked like? The real Donna Douglas made her TV and movie breakthrough when Hollywood producer Hal B. Wallace saw her on an episode of The Ed Sullivan Show and gave her a small role. This was followed by another small role in the hit comedy Lover Comeback, alongside Hollywood titans like Rock Hudson and Doris Day. Would a millennial Donna Douglas have had the same luck? Most likely not. Instead, she would have had to advocate for herself. She would have had to put in the work to make sure someone gave her a shot. Coming from a modeling background, a millennial Donna Douglas would have one foot in Hollywood already. By signing with appropriate representation, her agents could strongly advocate for her to have a guest role or two on a TV show. From then on, it would be up to this version of Donna to prove herself. What she does with her limited screen time would determine how her career as an actress would go. A millennial Donna Douglas would be coming into the industry in her 20s. This would have coincided with the early 2000s. As a result, she would not have the luxury of relying on social media and stand culture. These days, models can make it as actresses if they have a big enough following to boost everything they do. But coming into the industry in the early 2000s, a millennial Donna Douglas would have to rely on her talent as well as her good looks. So what sort of shows could a millennial Donna Douglas have made her name on? Well, a guest appearance on Friends, one of the most popular shows in the world at the time, would have meant everything. Other than that, she also could have appeared on Sex and the City, Gilmore Girls, Ally McBeal, Desperate Housewives, or Scrubs. These would have given her the appropriate exposure to take her career to a new level. Are you having trouble imagining Donna Douglas in these TV shows? Don't worry, you're not the only one. Remember, Growing up in a different time period means dealing with a different media landscape. That's part of the fun of this entire exercise. The real Donna Douglas was well known for her role as Ella Mae Clampett in the hit show The Beverly Hillbillies. What equivalent role would a millennial Donna Douglas make her name with? It's quite difficult to answer this question. After all, it's hard to imagine The Beverly Hillbillies being made today. Though the show was a hit, it drew a lot of criticism for thriving on negative stereotypes. Such a thing is very unlikely to fly today. In any case, a millennial Donna Douglas would still likely have succeeded on a sitcom. Perhaps something like Modern Family, Parks and Recreation, or 30 Rock. These shows are more politically aware, but they still manage to be intensely funny. 
Besides, they would have provided another major advantage to Donna Douglas's career. After appearing on the Beverly Hillbillies, the real Donna was typecast as a dumb blonde for the rest of her career. As hard as she tried to break that image, it just didn't work out for her. Studios and producers ignored her because they associated her too strongly with her role as Ella Mae Clampett. As such, she was not as big of a star as she could have been. A millennial Donna Douglas would likely avoid this pitfall. Nowadays, people are smart enough to avoid strongly associating an actress with a particular role. On top of this, actresses are smarter about managing their careers and attracting diverse roles. This is one of the ways Hollywood has changed for the better. Though she appeared in a handful of movies, the only movie Donna Douglas starred in was Frankie and Johnny alongside Elvis Presley. When it came out in 1966, Donna desperately hoped that this movie would finally make her an A-list star. Unfortunately, this didn't happen. The Elvis Presley magic, which had rubbed off many actresses, just wasn't working out for Donna Douglas. Would a millennial Donna Douglas have benefited from such a role, though? The answer most likely is yes. Sure, these days, there's hardly a star on the same level as Elvis Presley, but perhaps appearing in a movie with Justin Bieber or Harry Styles would be sure to dramatically increase Donna's profile, particularly in the age of social media. The real Donna Douglas never had such luck, but she created her luck in other ways. When the real Donna Douglas struggled to make it in Hollywood, she turned to other industries. She built up a great career as a gospel singer and motivational speaker, and she also wrote a handful of children's books. Would a millennial Donna Douglas have been able to achieve all this? Well, yes. The great thing about this, she wouldn't have to give up her acting career to pursue all these career paths. Women these days have more options for furthering their careers than those of Donna's generation did. They don't necessarily have to pick, choose, and prioritize. On top of being an actress, a millennial Donna Douglas could easily be an author as well. She would not be the first to do this, but neither would she be the last. One major way that a millennial Donna would have excelled where the real Donna Douglas failed was with Barbie. In 2011, four years before her death, Donna sued Mattel for using the image of the Ella Mae Clampett character to sell their Ellie Mae dolls. Donna and Mattel settled the case privately. However, a millennial Donna Douglas need not have struggled that much. Perhaps millennial Donna could have starred in Mattel's recently released billion dollar Barbie movie. This would honor her role in a Beverly Hillbillies-like show while also destroying negative stereotypes associated with such a character. It would have been a win-win situation for everyone involved, Unfortunately, even the real Donna didn't live to see the release of Barbie. If Donna Douglas was born two generations later, there's no doubt she would have had a far better career. The evidence she would be a bigger star and would be much more appreciated for her various talents is enormous. In any case, it's not too late to appreciate the real Donna today. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.